Hello friends, welcome to my channel Study Material. In this channel, you can get a lot of beneficial information regarding the various topics of physics, chemistry, and mathematics. Now, today we discuss about the topic classification of solids. First of all, we should know about solids. What are solids? Solids are the substances in which the particles are rigidly packed. They have definite shape and definite volume. They are incompressible. Now let us discuss about classification of solids. Solids are classified into two types. First one is crystalline solids and the second one is amorphous solids. Now let us discuss each type of solid one by one according to their properties. Here there are some differences between crystalline and amorphous solids. First property is shape. The crystalline solids have definite characteristic shape whereas the amorphous solids have irregular shape. Second property is order in the arrangement of constituent particles. Crystalline solids have regular arrangement of the constituent particles they are said to exhibit long range order whereas amorphous solids do not have any regular arrangement of the constituent particles they have short range order third point is melting point crystalline solids have sharp melting point whereas amorphous solids do not have sharp melting point they gradually soften over a range of temperature fourth point is cleavage property when cut with a sharp edge tool, the crystalline solids split into two pieces and the newly generated surfaces are clean and smooth. Whereas, when we cut with a sharp edge tool, the amorphous solids cut into two pieces with irregular surfaces. Next point is enthalpy of fusion. Crystalline solids have a definite enthalpy of fusion, whereas amorphous solids do not have definite enthalpy of fusion. Sixth property is anisotropic. Crystalline solids are anisotropic and have different physical properties in different directions. Whereas amorphous solids are isotropic and have same physical properties in all the directions. Seventh property is nature. Crystalline solids are few solids, whereas amorphous solids are pseudo solids or supercooled liquids. They have a tendency to flow. Here are some common examples. Copper, silver and iron are some crystalline solids whereas glass, rubber and plastic are some amorphous solids. You can see the figure of crystalline and amorphous solids. In the crystalline solids there is a regular arrangement of particles whereas in amorphous solids there is a irregular or random arrangement of particles. You can see the cleavage property. When we cut with a knife, the crystalline solids make a smooth or clean cut, whereas amorphous solids do not do so. Here is an anisotropic behavior of crystals. From the figure, it is clear that arrangement of the atoms in AB is different from that of the arrangement of particles in CD. Therefore, this structure has different physical properties in the different direction. So, it is an isotropic. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel.